finally in August, we found out that he was in Arkansas. So I went to go send the cease and desist in Arkansas. But there was a Zoom call before all of this was transpiring with Vanessa Douglas. In that Zoom call, and there's witnesses in that Zoom call, I had told everybody I can finally send T. Nathan a cease and desist because he's not in Mississippi, he's in Arkansas. And I had showed the, the Vanessa where he was at. Three or four mm. days later, T. Nathan got uh, arrested. Mm. And then she came on TikTok lying her ass off, claiming it was me. Now, about three weeks after he got arrested, I found out it was Vanessa Douglas that pushed a complaint on September 9th. Oh, no, September 2nd. And then he got arrested September 9th or September 10th. But T. Nathan knew this. He knew yeah. that it wasn't me. But because Vanessa's account got banned already and it wouldn't bring him no money, he came after me and he said that I did it. I have text messages where I text that fucker and told him, hey, man, that shit wasn't me. I've been hating your ass for two years. I never called. He, I'm going to tell you the truth. T. Nathan never threatened me. Not once. He never doxed me. He never said he was going to come do anything to me. Why the hell do I need to call on that man? He ain't saying right. that shit. It was but Vanessa and him have this weird relationship. Vanessa and T. Nathan have a weird relationship. And, you know, throughout the whole battle with T. Nathan, Vanessa and T. Nathan were still talking. He would mm -hmm. give messages through Vanessa to tell me. I'm serious. He told Vanessa mm -hmm. to tell me to fire Mikey on TikTok. And I told him I could mm -hmm. not fire anybody on social media. You can't fire people on social media. But I told, right. but I told Vanessa to tell him to go sit on a pole and twist. And he got mad. But he would give messages through Vanessa. And it's like, and then at one point I got mad and told Vanessa, stop giving me messages through that man. I don't know why he keeps calling you to tell you to tell me to do something, but that's not how it works. But that's how he was. But in September, mm -hmm. when he came out, he realized this was a great time to use his platform to get money. On that one live that T. Nathan came back and accused me, he must have got over five grand mm -hmm. on that one live. And he mm -hmm. knew it wasn't me. He knew it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what got him. That's what got him mad because he knew it wasn't me and he tried to hide that shit. But that email came out and it showed yep. that Vanessa Douglas was the one that did it. And then we verified it. We talked to the mayor's office for an hour and verified it. It was Vanessa that pushed the, the complaint, not me. But because he already had this this video out, I speak came out with his whole dis disgusting ass chest lying on me. Mm -hmm. He couldn't take it back. He couldn't take it back, so they just kept pushing this narrative. But the proof is out there. The now, do you there. feel uh, everybody else knew that was either part of the fold or, or were in the fold? At well, that point? I know T. Nathan got a big ass mouth. I know right. that much. So if I know that he has a big ass mouth, I'm pretty sure he told people that it wasn't me. But it was too late. What was he going to do? Come back out and say if Vanessa did it and Vanessa don't even have an account at the time? Vanessa got now, banned. I will say this, though, right? I know mm -hmm. you posted this information, and every big creator that was involved with the full probably was more likely watching your page. Mm -hmm. And anybody with the brain cells, with two brain cells, could have figured out that how T. Nathan went to jail was his own fault and Vanessa. Yeah. But yet yeah. they said nothing, right? No, nobody said nobody stuck up for you except you know your close friends. I had a I had a set group of people that were out here trying to fight for me. You know, Chevette, Fed, you know, even Heather at the time was trying to fight for me. So there were creators, but they weren't as large as the large creators that attacked I'm, me. I'm like talking about like consciously, we know. I no, me and consciously the, weren't really the cool. The lunch like lawyer that. lady. Yeah, me and consciously I wasn't got a cool real like problem that. with her. She knows the law. The lunch cool. lady, lawyer, or whatever. I don't know her I either. I don't know her either. Yeah, but, but she, she knows the law, right? And mm -hmm. she said nothing. She knew the whole case and everything about mm -hmm. him being. Because I put it in that very first video of uh, yes. T. Nathan. That's the so first time knew. I seen that video. Mm -hmm. I didn't see she that knew. before. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh. There, yeah, there you go. Okay, there you uh, go. Alicia called. Go ahead. 
But, but yeah, yeah, um, I they, did. They, so I was just trying to establish that these people knew, like Aunt Karen, all these large creators, real still knew and went with the T Nathan narrative because they were told. But go ahead, they were told. To, they were told that I was the one to do it the first time. Um, I don't know if T Nathan told them. I don't know for sure, but like I said, T Nathan has a big mouth. So if he was telling smaller creators it wasn't me, I'm pretty sure he was telling the larger creators it wasn't me. But again, yes, it was too late and it was so. all about money. It was all about right, money. Right. I even texted him that. So, I said, This is all about money. So during this whole time, which you didn't even know, um, after he got out, right? After he started blaming you and everything, that he had a whole Discord set up for, to stalk every bit of your life. You want to explain that a little bit to everybody? Yeah, well, uh, so what he Discord. thought that I didn't have was people that were still cool with me that was in that Discord. And he developed the Phoenix Rising Room, which was a room just dedicated to Goddess Mia. It had all my personal information. It had family information. It had all my social media. Every video I dropped, they would drop it in that room and they would coordinate mass reporting on the videos. They would uh, mass report comments on my videos. I remember there was a point in my account where people weren't even commenting. And the reason why is because the full was mass reporting my comment section to the point where I just turned off my comment section. But that right. entire page was dedicated to finding ways to take my account down. That's that's your what account, it was. everything outside your life and pretty much everything. everything. I'm talking about like my dad, my 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 family. I'm talking about man. If they could find my third grade teacher right now, that shit would have been in that room. They were stalking the shit out of me. It was to the right. point like when I saw the Discord, I was disgusted. I was right. so I disgusted. That day. I, I was like, what the day. hell? Y'all sat there for a whole fucking year, year and a half, just watching me and putting all my information and coming up with stupid ass lies to try to take my account down. And Even let's be, uh, right. I'll put another pin in this. This wasn't just black people. These were no, white people. Mostly white people. It was mostly, mostly white, white people, people at that time. By that time, the foal got colonized. By the time right. they had this room and the time they had all these people coming towards me, it was mostly white people. It was a very few black people. It was mostly white people in that group. And then even today, it's mostly white people. It's colonized. People. It got colonized. And, let's be, and let's, let it be known that she is not the only person they stalking. I had a room. Alicia had a room. There are multiple yep. people in this Discord that they keep information on. Stalkerish mm -hmm. information. I mean, but Cuban ahead. Delight, Denise Moppin would send people, email people files on mm -hmm. us to harass us. I have a video on my on my page right now that shows an email from Denise Moppin sending personal files to people so that they can harass them. Yep. I just want y'all to know that. I'm, and that's going to be that in the, uh, I'm going to put them discords in these T. Nathan uh, Chronicles too. But mm -hmm. uh, I just want, I want you to know, I want people to know how this affected this woman for the last two years. Multiple people you know, plotting and, and forming plans just to irritate her and stalk her life. Now, mm -hmm. I want you to let people know how, how, as much as you can about how it affected your life outside of this app. To be honest, okay, when I first got on TikTok, I wasn't thinking about monetizing, right? And, you know, I had my health concerns, which they like to make fun of all the time. They like mm -hmm. to make fun of the fact that I have diabetic neuropathy. They would actually pretend to walk like me, crippled like, all that shit. But you know, whatever. I let them talk their shit. But I was, I'm, I have this diabetic neuropathy. So I was using TikTok as a way to help with my health care because I didn't have insurance at the time. When they decided right. to attack me, that cut off my insurance. That cut off a lot of extra uh, funds that I could do to go to these pain doctors and these uh, diabetic specialists. Specialists. On top of that, I had Rabbi attack me so bad, so hard, so ridiculously that I had to come out because he was calling me a homophobe and a transphobe. So now I am a. Uh, my family is very religious. We are. Our, we are also immigrant Haitians. And, you know, it's a very dangerous thing for me to do, but I had to do it because at the time, again, my account was monetized. I had people working for me. I have vendors that were working for me. So I had to choose my account over my family. So I came right. out 
that was very detrimental to to my me- mental health at the time. You know, they wouldn't, they were relentless. They wouldn't stop. And I'm, because I'm a strong person, I could take it. But there was people on this app that could not take what I took over the last few years, but especially after T. Nathan went to jail the first time. And then they started doxing me. Casey Camden, AKA Cyborg Grabby, doxed me over and over and over again. He did my address. He doxed my name. He do- He even took a picture of my freaking um, apartment complex and posted and, posted and told people to come visit me. Sounds like Vanessa, somebody something did before. I've yep. seen him do it plenty yep. of times. Did they it to Alicia. Every other day. Vanessa Douglas.